about automated tools for propagating a common hierarchy from a set of vocabularies. Please, Joely. Yes, uh, quite a. Uh, quite a bit for a topic of the talk. Basically, I'm talking about how um, how we national library, while we are uh, publishing about 50 controlled vocabularies in SCOS format through a browser that we developed for it ourselves. Um, then, uh, what kind of process do we need if we start actually uh, taking some of those vocabularies with um, with a common uh, data model and try to mash it together? in a way that it's sensible and actually uh, our users would prefer it over the uh, individual ontologies which is well i'm always a bit surprised when that happens but it's actually uh, that's how it goes um so basically the subject is the finnish uh, collaborative holistic ontology uh, which goes by the uh, acronym coco and uh, I'll briefly present uh, some of the tools that we are using to build it and also giving the overview of the whole process so that you know uh, what's involved. And myself, um, myself I'm information systems specialist uh, at National Library and I'm, I'm basically uh, uh, basically administra administrator of the uh, Finto service in a technical sense. So I run the day-to-day -day, uh, issues and, and de uh, development for a technical uh, vocabulary side of things. And uh, basically, in one image, this is Coco. So it's, um, it's a group of uh, ontologies which are here, um, uh, here listed according to their sizes. Uh, uh, when you count the number of individual concepts in each each of them, and uh, I would uh, they are all all called ontologies, but I would refer that name maybe for the YSO or the Central Finnish ontology, and the rest are kind of controlled vocabularies which uh, share the share the core structure of the YSO. And uh, they uh, this is also the way they would overlap in in the. Uh, Finnish holistic ontology, COCO. So um, we can see that a bit, a bit under half of uh, each each of these vocabularies is is uh, considered to be the YSO structure, and uh, and the rest of it is unique to each. Uh, we can also see that uh, the uh, individual uh, individual domain domain vocabularies don't really are not supposed to really overlap much with each other. They are mainly designed to overlap with YSO. Uh, it's for the ease of uh, ease of uh, keeping keeping the uh, each uh, each control vocabulary separate. And uh, uh, so, for example, when when combining the, them together, we know how to uh, how to address uh, each each concept. And then. Um, uh, this is basically something that we would call a, a linked open ontology cloud, which is built using SCOS RDF. So it syntactically uh, links pretty well together. But then the actual problem is that uh, is the end result like sensible in a semantic way, or are the structures actually interoperable in a way that the whole process of combining them could be automated somehow? And the stat, stats for the uh, COCO ontology is about 15 domain-specific uh, vocabularies and the one, one general upper ontology, which uh, forms the uh, actual hierarchy of the, of the thing. Uh, in total, it's uh, about 7.6 million triples, uh, in, uh, but much of it is overlapping. So it actually, the amount of individual triples is more like 2.1 million, and we mash, smash it together into about 1 mil million triple uh, uh, ontology. Uh, this is basically the analog how it how it would look like. So we have very uh, virtuous uh, players in <laughs> in the orchestra, but the actual problem is then make them all uh, uh, stay on, yeah, on their own seats and uh, to make some kind of uh, 
harmonious uh, music together. And the main tools for this are, are then uh, some kind of vocabulary editor. We use Top Red Composer and, and uh, a bit a bit of workbench these days. And uh, this would be like if we go with the orchestra, this would be the individual compositions of, of the musicians. Then we have the quality improvement tool, Scosify, which is then maybe our auto tune in a way that we try to make sure that um, uh, each of the vocabularies are are expressed in a reasonable manner uh, in in Scos. Uh, then, because uh, each of the each of the domain vocabularies are linked individually to the central ontology, we need to have some kind of change analysis tool, which tracks uh, changes in the central ontology, which are relevant for each each um, uh, domain domain vocabulary. And for that, we use uh, change analysis tool Mutu. These are both the Scosify and Mutu are developed in. Uh, in in our, our research group. Uh, then when we start start combining these together, we need to have some validators, which would basically check that we are actually following the design guidelines for the ontologies in a higher level. And then when that checks out, we we feed them through the merging tool Kokoaya, and the end result is basically uh, a holistic ontology, which is just simple enough that it actually works. So we try to keep it uh, kind of uh, uh, not too fancy. And the main tools here uh, are, of course, making sure that we can follow the uh, data model that, that is shared with all 15, 15 vocabularies. Then we have some kind of uh, validator which which checks like certain key key design principles which make sure that uh, the, while, while each vocabulary is kind of sensible they don't create paradoxes or or like uh, like semantic garble when combined together and then we have the actual actual um, merge tool which is just a very very long algorithm which procedurally uh, combines the vocabularies together and make sure that uh, uh, each uh, each concept gets grouped with similar concepts that are semantically like similar enough for them to be presented presented as the same in the in the end result. And um, in a in a scheme uh, drawing, it would look something like this. So <clears throat> the whole the whole process means that there's some kind of um, uh, specialists developing their own domain vocabulary which is then linked in the Finnish general upper ontology and uh, every time there's some uh, changes in the upper ontology there's a specific tool which then notifies the uh, vocabulary, vocabulary developers of those so uh, this kind this this link needs to be synchronized somehow for it to be meaningful uh, once once this this process is uh, okay we can feed feed the combined domain vocabulary and the general upper ontology into a quality improvement tool and then that's basically it then it's ready for publication in our browser and everybody can start using it and uh, so each of the, uh, this process is basically individual for for each each of the uh, published vocabularies that belong to the coco cloud uh, then this part is the uh, part that's basically done only once, uh, commonly for the for the whole thing to actually create the holistic ontology. And for that, we first need to have a validator which checks checks through the design principles that they are actually actually like uh, semantically compatible compatible together. And once that's cool, we can feed it to the merging tool. And usually at that point we pop. Uh, it's good enough for publication instantly, but we also run a specific evaluation process. We create uh, reports for for each of the uh, domain vocabularies. We give those feedback so that next time they they would uh, go through the process, they would uh, ideally make some changes to the uh, structure of their vocabularies. 
Um, so the automated process should should do most of the heavy heavy lifting, and uh, still uh, there's there's a specific uh, certain need for for keeping separate track of the uh, like high level design principles. I think we have like ten of those uh, uh, in regards to building Coco in a sensible way. And uh, some of these are checked through the validators, but of course most is done by just having proactive design guidelines. So for example, when we develop the central ontology, YSO, we take into account the needs of each of the uh, uh, domain vocabularies. And uh, if the uh, domain vocabularies have some, 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 some needs in regards to YSO, then they are supposed to tell it, tell it, tell it to us in before, beforehand, and we can uh, make these uh, decisions together before publication for each of these. And this is kind of ongoing process that happens a couple of times a month. Uh, it's part of the uh, part of the development of YSO. And uh, then when YSO is developed like twice, uh, uh, the, or is well. It's been developed constantly, more or less. So there's, uh, there's uh, daily updates to it, and uh, it has a couple of uh, larger, uh, larger sessions in each month of of actually keeping track of the uh, progress. Uh, it's naturally going to be updated much faster than each of the domain ontology logies. So uh, we need to make sure that we are we are gonna synchronize the uh, update process. So basically it means that we are going to push the updates to them uh, only once a year so that they can actually 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 follow the changes in the YSO. And the rest of it, like the long long, long tail of pro, uh, tracking the progress is all about manual labor. And uh, so we have some uh, some uh, design principles that are mainly used for uh, catching the uh, general errors that we usually find find when uh, combining the ontology together, and uh, they are bare, and the guiding principles are usually something really really simple, and uh, they are meant for uh, catching problems like uh, like for example uh, concept in dom uh, domain vocabulary having uh, equivalent links to two different concepts in the central ontology, and then when these would be mashed together and the equivalency is uh, uh, is transitive, it would actually smash these two, these two uh, together, and when this one is updated to something a bit different, there's a danger that it would actually catch the subcontext from some other unrelated concept altogether. And, um, yeah, so, to make sure that it all works, the actually merging two procedure is quite convoluted. I'm just listing it here for the sake of it, but uh, but maybe maybe much easier is to just show it in a in a general general way by just showing that if the orange part is the central ontology and the blue and red ones are like these domain vocabularies, the idea is that uh, when the structure of the central vocabulary is changed somehow. For example, like this, then uh, the structure of the domain vocabularies get attached into slightly different places of the central ontology, so that it uh, remains like semantically uh, consistent as a whole. And um, and this is quite um, uh, easy, easy thing, of course, to to know because we are we are making the changes ourselves in the central ontology, so nothing comes as a great surprise there. Uh, the automated part is pretty pretty simple. It's usually based on the concept analysis so that we are uh, we have uh, we are, our guidelines are pretty clear on how and why we should uh, separate concepts into individuals. Then when we publish it and uh, feed it to uh, the merging tool Kokoaya, it should be um, it should be validated, and then the end result is also cleaned and sent to acceptance testing. And, and like I said before, uh, 
it can be automated pretty far but the actually actually central part is actually making sure that we are developing the vocabularies in a, in common common guidelines and that's basically it uh coco was, uh, has been in development for for quite a few years and yeah the central points like in a nutshell okay Thank you, Joely. Um, uh, there was a question. Uh, in the workflow diagram, did the components with faces on them indicate human interaction? And can you elaborate on what level of human interaction or review is needed? Uh, yes, uh, the, the main point of uh, human interaction is, is uh, actually having a common ongoing development process and development, uh, development guidelines for, the, uh, for the each individual vocabulary. Uh, so uh, the amount of human review is uh, is done in a way that once the coco ontology is being published, uh, we deal deal out like individual reports to to each of the um, uh, each of the vocabularies, so that we uh, we can uh, like show show the changes uh, that are relevant to each each, each of the vocabulary de developers, and then they uh, in the next iteration of the then publishing the their own vocabulary, they can make some changes to us. Uh, usually each of, the, each of the domain vocabulary is updated about once a year or twice a year, and we try to make sure that we, we aim at uh, 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 publishing the COCO ontology about four times a year. So we aim, aim at double the frequency of each of the parts. And um, so, uh, that, that, that is one way of keeping the amount of hassle and like kind of uh, manual labor to minimum in a way that uh, everything should be pretty, um, how should I say it, pretty clear cut beforehand. All right, uh, there was also a suggestion from, from Jakob Voss that, uh, that anyone interested to collaborate on a list of vocabulary tools. A few years ago, the um, Colicon project created a list and uh, it could potentially be integrated as a sub page of, of Bartok. So, uh, so this would be a, a, a central registry of all the different tools, including the ones that were presented. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's yeah. a good idea. Uh, uh, the larger tools in, in this, uh, in our, our, our development process are uh, develop as individual individual tools that could be uh, used in a more general sense. Scosify, of course, developed by Osma is 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 a good example, but also the change tracking tool that we are using uh, to track like meaningful changes in the central ontology and try to alert each uh, domain ontology that's linked to the linked to the parts of the central ontology that's being changed uh, could also be used in a more general manner. I can. Uh, link all of these are of course open source i can link the repositories of of the relevant tools to the to the public chat yeah okay there was also just very quickly a question uh, when changes to the central ontology are made for example breaking changes is it a manual process for the individual vocabularies to make changes and update the data uh, yeah, yeah. There should be a, at least a, re a review process uh, because um, it might be that they are they they will would be uh, domain specific, like semantic uh, semantical like <laughs> uh, features in that's needed the, that the developers of the central ontology didn't take into account. Uh, this is usually the kind of kind kind of work why we have the process of uh, the. Uh, ontology developers having an ongoing active discussion on the on the principles of how and why should we uh, create the new concepts and and what's the granularity needed needed okay. in the hierarchy okay thank you 